In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how you can send email from your HTML contact form. Now, you don't need a backend script. You don't need PHP code line. You don't need JavaScript code line. We'll be using only HTML. Now, we are going to fill this form and submit it and it will be sent to our email address directly. Like I said, you don't need the knowledge of PHP or um, um, JavaScript and the rest. We are using only pure HTML. So if you stay with me to the end of this tutorial, you should be able to do exactly what I'm going to do in this tutorial. So if you are new in my channel, this is Omar Tech Digitals. I want you to hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so that whenever I release exciting video like this, you'll be the first person to receive it. Now let's go straight to our code line. Now I have my code here. I have my code here. So as you can see, this is my form. This is my form. So I don't have any, um, um, I don't have any PHP or Laravel work or um, JavaScript work or anything relating to PHP or JavaScript. It is pure HTML as you can see. This is pure HTML and um, this is the output of the form. This is the output. So what we are going to do, we are going to submit this form and upon clicking this send message, it is going to submit this form directly to our email address. Now you can do this to maybe your registration page, anything you want to do. Maybe you want to receive user details and you want to send them directly to your email address. So this video is for you. Just stay with me. Now what we are going to do here. Now, first of all, you go back to your code line. Now we are going to work on this, our form. First of all, the method <clears throat> and the action. As you can see, we don't have action here. So we are going to impute action here so that Upon submission, when we hit this submit, it will trigger this action. And whatever we put as action, that will be the command uh, line. Now, I want you to go to a site called formsubmit.co. Formsubmit.co. Now, you don't need to, you know, fill anything. You don't need to um, uh, register. No. All you just need to do is just to verify your email address. So, what we are going to do here, you are going to copy this line of code. This form line of code. You copy it so you are, we are going to replace it with our own replace it with our own like this are you getting it like this so now the, this place of email this is where you are going to put your email this is where you are going to put your email like i said you are going to verify this email so that they will activate the form you are going to verify this email that is all now if you know that your form doesn't have a name you've not named your form so you need to name it hmm? like your name, email, subject, and message, you need to name it. You need to name your form because it is with this name that we separate. Okay, this is this, this, this feed is for this, this feed is for this. So if you know you've not named your form, just immediately name your form. You don't even need to give it an ID because we are not using PHP yet. We just want to use pure HTML, but we need name. So impute your names here. Impute the name of each feed, impute it, just save it, go back to your browser, then refresh that very page and try fill um, some details there. Just fill some details, then try to hit the send message. Now, once you hit the send message, it will show you unable to submit form. Make sure you open this page through a web server. So now we need to make it live. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to upload this very script online so that it will be live. All right, so I've taken my um, files online, so I am online. You can see my URL. I have tutorial.omatechdigital.com slash form submit. Now, for the first time, if you feel anything here, yeah, if you feel anything here and submit, if you've not verified your email upon submission, it will send you a verification code to your email address. I've already verified my account, so I won't see that message. But in your own case, you are going to see that message. So immediately you see that upon submission, immediately you see that message, then go to your email address and activate the link that was sent to you. So once you activate the link, go and refresh that page again. So I am going to submit and let's see the output. Now, it will tell you we are almost there. Then you need to, now, as you can see, it says the form was submitted successfully. Return to original site. Now let's go to our mail and check our mail. If we receive that form, I'm just going to check if the form really submitted. As you can see, I have received the form and I have all the details here name bitcoin are you seeing so it works perfectly the form do what works perfectly it works perfectly 
But in a situation where you want to display a thank you message after submission, you don't want this their logo to show and this and that. No, you don't want it to show. So I'll teach you how to do that. So for you to key this and maybe um, display a thank you page, I already have my thank you page. So I'm just going to link it there so that it will work with it. So what you need to do, go back to the form. Now we are going to format our form. Go back to the form, then click on docs. Click on docs. Then you see next, you see this very line, next. Copy this line. So it means by default, after submitting a form, the user is shown the form, uh, form submit thank you page. So we need to create our own thank you page. So just copy it, go to your code line, then just drop your form there. So I'm just going to go to my code line, then I'm going to drop my form, um, my link there. I'll just drop my link there before the submit page. Okay, I have it here. So I'm going to drop it here. So in this place, you will now put the, your URL. Like I said, you need to create that very form. Then we'll go back. Then after that, we need to format. I don't like the way it appears on our Gmail. So we need to format the table. So you scroll down where you see recapture. We don't want recapture to be there. So just pick the recapture, come back and drop it there. Now we want to format the table, how it appears on our Gmail. Then you will see template. You will see template here. So just click on it. You can select any template. See the way it will appear. But I love this other table template. It looks precise and professional. So I'll just copy it. Come back here. Then I will paste it here. So the next thing, I'm just going to upload my thank you file. I already have the file. So I'm just going to upload it. I have my thank you file. So meaning upon submission, once I submit the form, it will display a thank you page for me. Then I'm just going to refill it again. This, this, this is a test. Then I'm going to hit submit. It, it will now display thank you instead of showing what those. Now let's go to our mail and check how it now appears. Come to our mail and you see that it appears professionally. So I am, I'm, I'm going to drop this, um, the code the code I used here, I'm just going to drop it on um, below the content of this video so that you don't need to go to the site and be picking it, just pick it from my um, video here. So you see, this is how you link or you send direct message from your contact form directly to your email address. So in a situation, maybe you want to create a contact page and you don't want to use PHP or JavaScript, you, 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 you just want a direct stuff. So this is how you do it. I hope you found value in this video. If you know you've not subscribed to my channel, please, I have amazing videos coming your way. Hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so that whenever I release videos, you'll be the first person to see it. If you have questions as regard to this video or you have any project you want us to handle for you, then please don't, don't forget to drop your comment or the comment section and you can mail us. Our number is below. Our email address is below. 